Ross wrote a, a letter to be read at the Rosathon, and then I was talking to him on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, and he said, well, why don't you read it to people that read more too? So, um,
courts are upholding this good faith argument and um, the Fourth Amendment is, in the digital age, is under threat. Our right to privacy and um, defense against um, government intrusion. Um, so they say that digital evidence doesn't, isn't really count, it isn't covered, and yet digital evidence is almost 99% of what they used in the trial against Ross. Um, and in fact, the one live witness that said, Ross actually said something to him, well, what Ross said to him was, I'm no longer in this thing, I'm out of it, and that was very early on. Um, the digital evidence uh, was chats, screenshots, I've been told by experts over and over again that it's totally vulnerable to tampering, and um, deleting, adding, and then we found out recently, and it was mentioned just briefly in the beginning of this uh, video, that yeah, it's it's definitely um, vulnerable to tampering because we've proven there was tampering. Um, two essential pieces of evidence uh, were discovered buried deep within six terabytes of discovery evidence that were dumped on the defense that they had to sift through to find needles in a haystack, basically. Six terabytes is um, the equivalent of half a million phone books, big phone books. I mean, there's no way you can humanly read the entire thing in the time that they had. And um, so after trial, the defense team continued to sift through it and found an obscure file that had a record of a Dread Pirate Roberts logging into the Silk Road Forum on uh, November 18th. Well, Ross was arrested on October 1st of the same year. It was seven weeks later that Dread Pirate Roberts was still working and acting and uh, accessing the forum. Um, so we don't know who that is, when they started accessing the forum, because the, um, it's only recorded the last login. We don't know when they originally gained access. It could have been years. Um, how many times they logged into Silk Road as DPR, how many DPRs there actually were. And of course, the government's big argument is, well, Ross is the one and only Dread Pirate Roberts, and he's the one that needs to have life in prison, and you know, no one else was involved. Um, 